In this video, we're going to be using Barrister's Reserve Firm and the Above the Tie X1 Slant Razor for a dome shave. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using Barrister's Reserve Fern, which uh, I got a sample from, from Maggers, but I'll show you the full label uh, up there. And this smells really, really nice. Um, to me, uh, it definitely has a vintage vibe to it. And I think these uh, Barrister's Reserve um, soaps might all be inspired in some way by vintage soaps, I'm not sure. Let me know below if you know what this is inspired by. Really nice fern scent. Uh, strength is at least medium, is if not medium high. And again, I got this sample from Barrister and Man, or excuse me, from <laughs> Maggard Razors. I will link uh, that link below in case you're interested in Barrister and Man samples. The price on this, if you get the full tub, $17.99 for four ounces. And on our cost chart there, that is a fair price of uh, $4.49 per ounce. I really like the Barrister's Reserve base. I think it's very good. We'll give you the ingredients right there. It is uh, tallow-based, and I like it a lot. I've never had any problems with it uh, whatsoever. We'll put the notes for the fern right there for you as well. Oak moss, lavender, um, tonka. Really nice scent. This is one I'll probably buy down the road. And the razor today is, once again, the Above the Tie X1. But this time, we're using it for a head shave because Mariah, who's now running uh, Above the Tie along with her husband, Matt, she says, Matt only uses this razor on his head. So we'll see what happens. I don't use a lot of uh, SE or DE razors on my head, so this should be interesting. This is an artist club style razor that uses that long uh, blade. It is slanted in the head, as you see right there. And I really enjoyed using this on the face. So we'll see how it goes on the on the head. Uh, this comes to you from above the tie for 169 for the matte finish, made in the USA, 303 stainless steel. I will have a link for you below. Also. If you want to buy Above the Tie products, use the discount code IMCDB and get 10% off. Again, I'm not trying to sell you anything, but if you want to buy from Above the Tie, use that code and save yourself some money. Okay, it also helps out the channel when you do so, so I forgot to mention that. Anyway, let's get into it today. Excuse me. Wetting the dome there. We'll uh, apply a little of the pre-shave cube here. Not that it's needed, because these this Barrister Man soap's certainly good quality, but we'll apply it. We're... We're trying to kill this cube and they just seem to want to hang around forever, but you know, that's a good problem to have for something that lasts a long time. It's not really a problem at all, is it? You could just keep using it and using it and using it and slowly it uh, gets whittled down, but I must say it takes a while. <laughs> so, you know, if you get a cube, expect for it to, uh, to hang around a good long time. All right, that seems to be good enough. Let's, uh, Get our hands nice and dry. We don't be operating any shaving equipment with wet hands. Apply a little more moisture there. And we'll get to lathering with our Barrister's Reserve Fern. I like all the Barrister's Reserve scents. I think I've tried them all at this point, or at least have smelled them all. Good quality lather there, as I think you'll see. The brush today is the Razor Rock, uh, what is this, 400, I think? I think it's 400. Really, really nice. I like the long-handed handled uh, 400 style handles a lot. And this one happens to be, uh, I think this one maybe is aluminum. So it's got some weight to it. I used to not like the aluminum handled um, brushes, but Oyve sent me this one and I've used it and used it and used it and, and I've grown to like it. And I really prefer longer handled brushes. I didn't start out that way though, in fact, when I used to see long handle brushes, I was like, why would anybody want those? But I've grown to really enjoy them. And boy, this uh, fern has good scent strength. Again, if you know what this is based on, if it's based on a vintage aftershave or something, let me know. I know some of them are loosely based on something. I've never had any problems out of the Barrister Man soaps in terms of quality. I don't always like their fall scents in particular, so... You know, with me, you never know with Barrister Man and Scents, but typically they're, um, they're summertime scents or this reserve line I have liked. So, let's see how it goes with above the tie. Remember, pulling down the uh, ear here and uh, trying to avoid causing any damage there. This blade, by the way, is, I've got seven shaves on it, so it may be reaching the end of its 
useful life here. So we'll have to sort of keep an eye on that. And if it starts feeling rough, we'll just change it in the middle of the shape. No big deal there. There's no reason to continue to press on with a bad blade if it should uh, become, you know, uncomfortable. And we, we won't just keep plugging on something that doesn't feel right. So if the blade starts feeling like it's shot, we'll just replace it right in the middle of the shape. There's nothing to be gained from continuing forward when it comes to shaving with discomfort. As I often say, shaving, unlike exercising, um, when you're exercising, you're gonna have some discomfort. You know? You're gonna have that lactic acid buildup and so on, and, and there's some discomfort involved and it's for gain. With shaving, it is the opposite. If you're experiencing discomfort, that is not what you want. So try to minimize any level of discomfort, whether it be uh, maybe a fragrance reaction, bad blade, whatever the case. And one of the things that I have always said about um, the Artist Club style razors as it applies to head shape, and maybe you'll see it. A lot of times the blade, you see right there how much blade is in contact with the skin? Only the middle portion. Uh, especially in the curved area. So down the back of my head where there's some flat spots on the neck, it's very, very good. But in the areas where there's lots of curves and contours, only part of the blade is in contact. So for me, I, I have never really liked artist club style blades on my head. Now, some people really do. So, you know, you, you have to sort of use whatever's best for you. But Mariah said her husband, Matt, who runs the company with her, really likes it. So I figured I would give it a shot. And I must say, it doesn't feel bad in any way. But I find that oftentimes um, a, a blade this wide, it just isn't in contact with your head through those curves and contours. And so that's why I don't prefer to use them. Some people do. Um, some people really like using the Vector and, you know, Hawk and other artist club style. Razors for me, I prefer um, I prefer the pivoting sort of razors like the leaf um, and things like that. And as you know, I'll use you know carts on my head as well. They feel pretty good to me. Um, it's just what I'm used to, and I'm just sort of trying to get the angle down. And keep in mind, this razor is slanted, so you've got some additional um, because it's slanted. You've got some additional factors to deal with. Not that it's overly difficult, but keep in mind, it's not exactly straight across. So you sort of have to take that into consideration. Now, on these areas here where I'm going up, where it's relatively flat, very easy. But in the curves, I've always found the Artist Club uh, razors to be just a little bit more challenging for me. They may not be for you. I will say uh, this this razor has um, lather channels down there, so when you rinse, it flows through the channels. I like that. It's a good it's a good uh, design. I do like lather channels on razors. Uh, there are some that don't have them, like for example the uh, Mula Roca or Roca, however you want to say that. It's kind of solid. It's a kind of unique. It almost looks like a minimalist design, but I think uh, lather channels definitely you know have their place, and I'm just trying to be careful here because I'm not accustomed to using artist club style razor and I look forward to using this on my face again um, just to see if I confirm you know my initial run with this on the face was uh, I really enjoyed it a lot so I had a really good shave with it and I was happy to get another razor from above the tie that I really enjoyed because it's been a long time you know um, a lot of us have ignored Above the top, but they have a lot of offerings, and I want to call your attention to their charts that they have on their website, where they uh, list all the razors. They list um, how aggressive they are, uh, where they're made, all this and that. This one is made in the U.S., like I said before. So first pass, pretty good there, pretty good, no problems whatsoever. Uh, it's not as comfortable as the <laughs> as the razors that I use normally, but honestly, nothing would be because I'm so accustomed to using Leaf you know, Harry's, you know, whatever, vintage carts, twig. Um, the leaf and the twig, in terms of razors that use 
double-edged blades, or the, although the twig is a uh, single-edged razor, it uses a uh, double-edged razor blade snapped in half. That might be my favorite single-blade head shaver, the, the, the twig. Um, I don't know, it just feels very easy to use. Now this one, the above the tie, uh, X1 slant, so I feel a little bit heavy. The head on it is, for example, bigger than the, the uh, vector. So it's not gonna be quite as nimble. It won't feel as nimble in your hands, but on my face, I really liked it. And on my head, I'm not minding it. So far, it's going pretty well. So we'll hope to continue that in pass two here. I'd say overall, pretty enjoyable to use. I don't know if I would take to using this on my head all the time. I think I would have to use it a lot for it to feel comfortable for me. But there are, keep in mind, there are lots of people who do like using this style of razor on their head. So, including, you know, Matt. So, there you have it. Let's be careful around their ears again. And just try to not nick that ear because I've been, uh, I've done that recently. I did it with the, uh, I think it was the Gillette, the vintage sensor I was using. I got it with that. And it will... Those ears will, once you nick one, they bleed and bleed and bleed. <laughs> so definitely use care and caution when, uh, you know, wielding any sort of razor with a sharp blade. And these, um, the blade in this, by the way, is the uh, Feather Professional. That's sort of my standard Artist Club blade that I use most of the time. They do make other Schick Proline, Captain, Kai makes them. There are other companies that make them, but the Feather Professional is my, uh, sort of my go-to Artist Club style blade. I use it the most out of all the Artist Club style blades. And we're just trying to be nice and easy. There is some weight to this razor. It is all, you know, stainless. Now I have it fitted with the, uh, Astra, or excuse me, Astra, not Astra. This is the Atlas handle. You can get a longer handle if you wish. I like shorter handles for the most part. Um, they do have different offerings there, if you please. So far, though, not bad at all. I would say, um, I would say this is more comfortable than I expected. Because again, I don't, I don't use these this style of razor a lot on my head, and I think it's you know gone pretty well so far at least so uh, I have not been disappointed by the uh, X1 slant as far as I know this is the first ever artist club style razor that is also a slant so hats off to above the tie for that thinking a little outside the box giving us something new and as a hobbyist or as hobbyists isn't that what we want something a little different something new So I, I purchased this one and I'm definitely happy with my uh, purchase and it's certainly a razor that I will be using. Um, and at some point we'll compare it with the uh, with the Vector, the Blackland Vector. It's almost an unfair comparison to compare other club style blade, uh, razors with the Vector because of one thing. The Vector head is so slim it doesn't, it doesn't feel like an artist club style razor. It's just so slim and maneuverable that I think in some ways, the feel it gives you, it's almost unfair. <laughs> that said, I'm really liking the, the X1 here. It's been enjoyable for me to use so far. And uh, I definitely think it's a keeper for me and one that I'll be, you know, going to and rotating in with all my other uh, razors. It's definitely not one that I look to put on the road anytime soon. So that's always good for me. If I get a if I get a razor that makes the initial hump, like is it good enough for me to keep? Then you know it's going to be a pretty good razor. So I would say for my first go at it, that was pretty good. Um, pretty enjoyable shave, no problems whatsoever. I will rinse and then we'll come back get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, we are back with the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, which we shall spray to the dome and the face. And that was a nice shape. I noticed I did miss 
a little bit up in here, but that's no fault of the razor. That's me being not familiar with the way the razor shaves. Overall, pretty good, close head shave. Like I said, I missed some stuff, but that was on me. So I had a good run, a good first run with the Above the Tie X1 on the dome. Loved it for the face. Uh, for the dome, for me, um, I just prefer <laughs> the razors that I use, although I had a good run with it today. Above the Tie S1, the first Artist Club slant razor. Really, really awesome. And again, if you're interested in Above the Tie products, use IMCDB as your discount code and get 10% off. It also helps the channel, so thank you if you do. But as always, I'm never asking you to. Just keep that in mind. All right, the Barrister Man Reserve um, Fern was really nice. I love the scent. It's got a good retro uh, vibe to it. We used our Razor Rock 400, our Captain's Choice Bowl. I'm going to close it out today with a vintage aftershave. This is British Sterling, which I think will pair just fine with this uh, Barrister Reserve, Reserve Fern. And we'll be off to the races and having a nice, smooth, clean and refreshing shave. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have excellent shaves whenever you do your shave. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.